I had never been to Kingston before, and when we came for the interview, I was blown away by the city, and more importantly, the staff that interviewed us. You feel like you're learning from your colleagues, even though that they are your, your teachers, and some are your mentors. At Queen's, uh, I think there is more of a community feel. The learning is absolutely phenomenal. I really like the simulation sessions. What happens in the sim lab stays in the sim lab, so you're not afraid to try things and make your mistakes there. And I think it gives you a lot of confidence so that then when you are seeing it in real life, you've been there and you've probably seen even worse in the sim lab. So I find the sim lab works really well for me. You know, the residents at the end of the year just give us such positive feedback that it's their favorite sessions that they do. Um, and I think we have dedicated trauma, sim sessions, and just basic resuscitation. And I just think it's the best uh, interactive way to learn. I think the biggest thing is comfort, is knowing and being more comfortable knowing that you're going to be able to handle anything. Most importantly in Emerge, it's the sick patients who are crashing in front of you and knowing that you know what to do next with them and you know where they're going, what investigations you need to do and what you need to do to make them better. Stuff that I didn't have a year ago before doing the, the program. Um, and in a year's time you wouldn't think that you could learn so much, but um, you do. Obviously the simulation is one of the biggest strengths, but also the, the teachers themselves. Emerge docs that you're working with are, have been doing this for years. Uh, they like having residents. They're really, really good at um, making you feel comfortable, giving you a kind of autonomy to run your own cases, and um, if you need to run anything by them, they're really good at uh, listening. I know they see me as their program director, and, but I'm really their coach. Like, you know, we want to get them from A to B, and I'm there just like a coach to get them there. I'm not there to just evaluate or to fail, or I'm to coach them to get there, you know, so. I always see it that way. And I think one of the other strengths of the Queen's program is that we are really integrated with the FRCP program. So not only can we learn from them, but we also get to sort of become good colleagues with them and benefit from the social activities that they're doing. <laughs> well, actually the two programs are very integrated and I think we have a great relationship between the two. Yeah, I think a lot of our teaching sessions are shared between both groups um, and the, uh, uh, certainly all of our grand rounds are done by CCFPMs and Royal College people, so the learning objectives are very, very similar um, and the faculty are uh, committed to teaching both the groups equally. The other thing I think is really quite important is that um, the five-year program residents uh, and the, the, the residents in the CCFPEM program are really quite close together. They do a lot of things together, not only educational things, but social things. They were very friendly, they were very open. It was very different than the other interviews I had been through. A very kind of community feel, and we kind of fell in love with the people that we interviewed with and the city, and so we chose Kingston. Growing up in Toronto, I never knew that having a lifestyle could be this balanced with no traffic, which is phenomenal. It's not too small where you feel isolated. We're very close to Ottawa, we're very close to Toronto. So it's small enough where you feel it's a small knit community, but it's large enough where you have everything you need. Being in Kingston in a small tertiary care centre, probably the smallest one in Canada, um, we get to provide kind of a small town feel, yet a tertiary centre offering. People, maybe more so in emergency, they allow you into rooms of experience that they have, and they only let you in because of who you are, you're the doctor, you know. And so I find that a huge privilege that they let me into their lives that way. And, and I think in a way that's what I like about the residents is you're allowed into lives a little bit that maybe you wouldn't be and you know you see them in times of stress and help them through that. I think this is a really busy but fun year and in some ways I feel like I'm learning more this year than my two years of family medicine combined but I think it's changed me for the better. 
Queen's Emerge program, I think I'm going to be a much stronger physician and I'm going to have a lot more confidence working in an emergency department.